Hey folks, what's Welcome back to another Palm Master video, and uh, it's the end of the month again, which means, uh, you know, time to go over again uh, the units in the game and, and see kind of where they're at. Although, um, I do have to say, honestly, we're probably not going to go over utilities uh, this month, because, like, none of them really changed. They're, like, because <sighs> they're, they're, basically, they're basically the same, right? Um, we didn't get, like, any new utility units, and... I mean, I could maybe you could say okay, maybe Lyra got a bit better, but like, is it really like that much of a difference? Because of like you know, Silver Squared, or whatever, right? Uh, but yeah, we're not gonna really go over these again. If you wanna, you know, see the explanations or whatever, you could check out the video we did last month going over them, right? Uh, but yeah, not not too much to go over these, so we'll just talk about um hybrids and and, and uh uh damage dealers, right? So oh, also, by the way. We're almost at 5 million, folks. We're almost at 5 million, which means we'll get all the rewards. Um, I think, you know, if everyone just do their dailies, we should be fine, right? Uh, don't really need to, you know, grind it out. Uh, but by tonight, we should probably be there. <laughs> so, um, shout outs to everyone um, who did their jobs. Not, I'm not No shout outs to the people who didn't do any. Um, but shout outs to the people who at least did their dailies, right? Um, and, and, uh, and, and did their part. So, that's, that's nice. That's nice. Um, you'd be like you. You think, wait, who wouldn't do any? You'd be surprised. I, I saw a lot of people who defiantly would say, "Oh, I'm not doing any of these at all." Like, <sighs> gets me not very in a good mood. I'd have to say, <laughs> but there are people like that. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah, let's uh again let, let's go over these. So, um, as you'll uh, first of all, shout out to the folks uh who did um come up with this, right? Uh, me, right? Uh, so shout outs runner, roll pal, uh, Joe, um, I don't exactly remember, I think Ray was there, <laughs> right, and, and, and Co, um, for helping me out as, as, as usual, so, uh, yeah, um, utility stuff, so, again, most of these are based on, and, you know, you know, um, a few, uh, you know, quite a few criteria, right, uh, so first of all, they are all, you know, assuming maxed. 2020, you know, five out of five. If they have a six REX, we are counting six REX, right? Um, and we're mainly focusing on how good they do in master mode. So, like in terms of like priority of, of of in terms of like how good they are in terms of valuation, the most the highest priority is master mode, and then probably legendary arena, and then full force battle, and then like maybe battle villa, right, or whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's just how. We sort of evaluate them, I guess. Um, we don't evaluate them that much in com uh, comparatively, but more so uh, in their own rights. Uh, also, a big consideration is team comps because that is very important, I'd say. Right. Uh, so, anyways, let's uh, let's get into this. So, um, honestly, not too much changed here either. Uh, the, the the one that changed probably the most is the um, the damage dealer list, right? Uh, but yeah, so we'll just go over the um, the ones that didn't change too much a bit faster, right? So we don't spend like half an hour to talk about how great Swampert is, because Swampert is very, very great, right? Um, insane amounts of damage, right? Crazy DPS, um, crazy sync nuke as well, on top of being very bulky. Um, doesn't really have gauge issues with, you know, racing rain. Oh, he also sets up rain, did you know? <laughs> with MP refresh. Right, two type coverages, water and ground. Um, yeah, it's just one of the you know the most broken units in the game, um, and has run some of the strongest teams. Right, uh, fantastic teammates as well. Right, um, Blastoise, great teammate. Palky, great teammate. Sharpedo, great teammate. Um, Nessa is is a solid solid teammate as well. Right, so yeah, just this thing is just. Nuts, what can you say? Anyways, all right. Uh, moving on. Again, we're just probably just going to go one for each tier, so it's easier to sort of, you know, talk about all this stuff, right? So maybe in second tier, we'll put in Megalopony. Megalopony is a fantastically constructed Pokemon. I do hope we do get more units like Megalopony in the future, right? So before you sink, you don't do any damage at all, which is good because usually you don't want to do damage before you sink. Usually before you sink, or before your first thing, it's just like setup time, right? And Megalopony does just that, giving your whole team speed, which is fantastic. Some defenses, all that stuff, right? And on top of that, yeah, potion. Then after you uh, Mega, you have insane um, DPS, right? Uh, with with high jump kick, obviously. So really good stuff, really good stuff, right? 
Uh, moving on, next here, we're throwing something, we're probably throwing Crobat, I guess, right? Crobat's really good. Um, badly Poison is, is, is nice to have, right? But more importantly, um, the guaranteed special defense drops on top of a really, really good Sync Nuke as well, right? Speed's not terrible either. A lot of great things, Crobat. It's just a great, like, unit that could do so many different things for your team, um, and could fit almost everywhere, right? Uh, moving on, uh, next here, probably something like an Octillery. Octillery is, uh, it's a solid Sync Nuker, right? The setup is slightly wonky. Right, uh, has good DPS as well. Um, it just doesn't really have a place in too many teams, right? Like, for example, in like a rain team, you're competing f too much for like, like, you're definitely not on the optimal rain team, right? You're not even on the second rain team. I don't think you're on the third rain team, right? There's just so many. There's just you know, there's just, there's just really isn't like a big spot for Octillery, unfortunately, but this kid is still solid, right? It's great defense, all that stuff. Um, it's not bad, it's not bad. It's just, nowadays, the standard for, like, Sync Nukers is just so high, right? And Octillery doesn't exactly meet all that, but it's still, again, not not terrible, right? Oh, and Octillery did get shafted for not getting a 6R EX, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah. <laughs> Moving on, next here has some use. We could probably put in Pikachu, right? Uh, so has the potions, which are nice, except there's just so many much better potion users nowadays. And you could do some damage with Thundershock, or not Thundershock, uh, Thunderbolt, right? Uh, but a lot of other great things. Speed, gauge battery, all that stuff, right? Um, hostile environment paralysis, one gauge spam, move gauge refresh on one gauge. Uh, again, goes back into the gauge battery um, sort of concept, right? Uh, yeah, there are good things about Pikachu, but it's too frail for one. And and again, there's a lot of units who could do kind of sort of do what Pikachu does, but better nowadays. Um, but yeah, moving on into the last tier, the med tier. It's probably something like a uh, Aegislash, I guess. Aegislash is uh, it not good. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It was good in that one event. <laughs> and it wasn't even awful in that one. It's just good because, like, it's free <laughs> and people used it. <laughs> but uh, outside of that, yeah, your slash is not, not very nice. Doesn't do damage. I'm not great of a tank either. King Shield is bad, right? It costs you two turns with only one sync move countdown. Terrible, right? Uh, well, at minimum two times. Sometimes it can talk, cost you even more if the opponent doesn't attack you if you don't predict the right move. Uh, but yeah, moving on. Uh, uh, let's just keep going from left to right, I guess. Um, Gengar, we're probably still in the good tier. I mean, um, solo damage. It's not anything. The damage, the Gengar damage, isn't anything crazy, but it's okay. Right? It's okay. It's definitely not like, you know, on octillery levels. But um, sleep is just very overpowered. Right? Sleep is very, very overpowered, and Gengar is very fast for a sleeper, which is generally what you want to see in a sleeper. Right? Um, is you want some good speed on it, right? Because, yeah, I mean, end of the day, it is a two-gauge move. You know, hypnosis, sleep powder. And and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to get into a situation where you're desperate for gauges, right? So that's why, uh, that's why Kinger's, uh, you know, not 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 bad at that job, right? Uh, moving on, Musharna. Musharna is easily top tier. Um, Musharna is, is just busted, right? Um fantastic fantastic tank right psychic terrain is really really good you heal in psychic terrain you charge move gauge in psychic psychic terrain uh musharna's damage is off the charts right um musharna i don't think has as good teams as swampert but it's still very 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 good right um has some great partners sabrina is obviously busted uh, Mew still very very good, right? Either as a DPS or sync nuker. Um, but yeah, I guess those are the only team makes. in comparison to like Swampert has like so many more. Like maybe uh, what else? Other say like, Will I guess. Caitlyn's oh, Caitlyn's not that great, and Mewtwo's not good at all. <sighs> Anything else I could type? Tate. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Mushan is, is obviously extremely busted, right? Um, moving on, Serena, obviously, I mean, what can you do? AoE sleep is the the single strongest thing in the game. 
nothing is close. <laughs> Aegis Leap is just incredibly busted. And on top of that, uh, Serena still does really, really, really good damage. Um, fantastic Sync Nuker as well, on top of you know all that, right? Is Serena the highest damaging Fire type Sync Nuker? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm. Maybe, maybe she is. Oh, look at that. It's not, it's not important though, in terms of. Like, Serena could do like zero damage, and she's still like at least close to top tier, if not still top tier. <laughs> Just because of, of how broken AoE Sleep is, right? Uh, moving on, Leaf is probably still. Uh, probably still top there at this, I'd say. Um, like I know it's falling off a bit, but but it's still you know, for what it's worth, still solid, right? Good damage on Frenzy Plant, right? Well, really good damage on Frenzy Plant. Uh, really good Sync Nuke as well, damage wise. Uh, potions are. She has good potions, right? She definitely has really really, really good potions. Um, they're not as good as they were before just potions themselves because usually you want to pick up in mastermind you want to kind of pick up uh healing down because you don't like you know you don't, get, you don't got time for heals you gotta <laughs> yeah just rush down stage why why do you spend time on healing um poison is nice defense downs are really really good still right um leaf's defense downs are really nice leaf's still very bulky uh could take a decent amount of hits right so yeah leaf is all very very good moving on my low tick uh, probably still amazing, right? Um, does some great damage on Sink Nuke. Brian does some good damage. Mirror Code is, I think, still the highest single damaging move in the game, right? Um, what else? Which, by the way, technically, Mirror Code does do more than Fisher. Um, cause I don't think, uh, it's uh, just because of enemy HP caps. <laughs> it's a meme. It doesn't really matter. No one's actually trying to use mirror cover like bonkers damage or whatever. Um, trap is nice, right? Uh, my ultic is solid tank. I wouldn't say like a fantastic tank, but it's solid, right? Oh yeah, my ultic is another unit you could run on rain teams, but yeah, recuperation, all that stuff. Uh, nothing too bad to say about my low tick, I guess. Um, moving on, Mimikyu is not very good, unfortunately. Um, Mimikyu is just very, very hard to find a place to use for uh, her, right? I can't, I'm not going to say she's niche because she's not, right? Because that's not what the word niche means. A lot of people do not understand what the word niche means, and it drives me crazy. Um, because, like, I mean, defense down is good. Wherever you go, defense down is good. Uh, however, the setup isn't. Actually, the setup's not like terrible, right? But there are like first of all, there are better defense down users. All right, the standard for defense down is is isn't isn't like you know super yeah uh, whatever right. And that Mimikyu does get screwed over a bit by the MP limitations that she has. On her MP refreshes on both, uh, well, not fan, well, fan four sucks, but Shadow Sneak, right, mostly, and it just it just really limits her usage a lot because I mean Shadow Claw is really bad, right? Um, confusion is also not very nice <laughs> in this game. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not you know because there's there's a lot of opponents that like have like. A lot of like uh, confusion uh, reduction, right? So even though you do have stop hitting yourself five, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's sad. Um, moving on. Let's see what we got. Oh, Gladian. Uh, has some use. Here's the thing. A lot of people talk about Gladian, right? A lot of people say, "Oh, if it's a free, you know, one point five k match." Well, I mean, so is the Viper. Does that mean the Viper is? Anything crazy? No, it's not, right? Um, and again, a lot of people say, oh, you could be, easily beat any 1.5k match. Well, again, the standard, that's not a very high standard. Like a, like most units in this game can beat a 1.5k master mode, right? And the thing with Gliden is Gliden is very helpful. It's a very, very, very helpful unit, right? Especially especially if you're a free-to-play. It's an extremely helpful unit. All, you know, all the type of coverage, all that stuff, if you need a certain type of coverage that you don't have, right? Again, especially if you're free to play, you haven't played, or you haven't played that long enough, you don't have as many units, Gladden's very, very helpful. 
Does that make him an objectively strong unit? Uh, unfortunately, no. His damage is incredibly bad, right? Very, 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 very bad damage. Um, like he's trying, like he's trying to do a lot of things. He just doesn't do any of them really well, right? He's trying to also be a tank, not a great tank. Trying to be a damage dealer, not a great damage dealer, right? Again, is it enough to get you through a 1.5k match? Mostly? Definitely, definitely, definitely enough. It doesn't make him good, right? Doesn't does not make him, you know, very very powerful, unfortunately. And I love Gladian, but it is what it is. Uh, Crush Claw is nice though. <laughs> Again, um, similar to Mimikyu, I do think Gladian is better than Mimikyu though. I do think uh, Gladian is is definitely better than than, than Mimikyu. Uh, but yeah, if you have like any like better unit than Gladian, you won't be using Gladian, right? Um, so there's that. Moving on. Uh, Torkoal probably still in has some use. I mean, uh, with the resurgence of Torkoal against Cobalion, uh, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make Torkoal better, unfortunately. <laughs> As an original Torkoal propagandist. <laughs> I mean, Torkoal's still nice on his own merits. It's just that it's hard to ever find a spot for him on, like, a good fire-type team anymore, right? I mean, who are we kidding? <laughs> There's Silver... Leon, Hilden out with an EX, Serena, um, Red, right? Like, mm, what can you do if you're Torkoal, right? Still a, you know, decent physical tank and all, decent sink nuker, all things considered. Ember is a fine one gauge spam, right? It's just that, like, back in the day, you know, back in the day, the reason why Torkoal is good, because Torkoal did solid um, secondary, you know, DPS, right? It was a great secondary DPS. But nowadays, like, secondary DPS is just below Torkoal out of the water. Like, Alder is considered a secondary DPS in Halters. The Hyper Beam does so much more than Ember, right? Um, like, Swampert's a secondary, you know, Musharna, like, uh, Lopany, like, uh, Standards are just too high nowadays. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Evil Tall. Uh, Evil Tall's nice, right? Uh, I mean, I still have my issues with Evil Tall, which I mean, you you guys have heard enough already, right? Um, switching between flying type and dark type damage is kind of cringe to get you know the full use of his kit. Um, and by kind of cringe, I mean inconsistent damage numbers, right? Because uh, if you're using one, you're missing out the two times super effective, which is not fun. Uh, but otherwise, damage not great, but the stuff that he does are nice, right? Good heals, flinches are cool, this and that. Again, still solid damage, even though it's not anything crazy. Yeah, Evil Ball's fine. Uh, moving on, Altaria. Altaria probably is still back in the good tier, right? It's solid. A, you know, you get a few free points here and there um, with the fog, right? In master mode, it's just that it's kind of hard to fit Altaria on teams, usually, right? And Altaria is very, very, very stage specific. And I know we talk about, oh, look at Altaria, crazy 470 something special attack, right? Or something. I don't know. How much was it? I don't remember. I think it's 470 something, right? Special attack Omega. Um. Or is that, is that 20 or 20? I don't know. For, for a 19, okay. Oh, close enough. Um, but yeah. Uh, she has very, very high special attack, but her multipliers are terrible. <laughs> and the multipliers are good damage, but like HP trade-off is a bad multiplier. White open's not good. Harry 3's not good. Uh, I, I do think Altair's damage is severely overrated, um, for one. And it's just she's slightly niche, right? But in the in the right case scenario, she's obviously incredibly helpful, right? Moving on, Women's Call probably still up here. Um, has incredibly easy to set up Sync Nuke, right? That's incredibly powerful. Easily could easily one shot off type 1.5k match mode opponent mids, right? Uh, on the first sync, right? By the way, first sync. Uh, incredibly f uh nice with the uh, the the team speed buffs. Has you know AOE paralysis. Which, on its own, isn't like the best thing in the world, but it mostly is for triggering other passives that have to do with paralysis, right? And the Moonblast does solid damage as well. So, yeah, one's called very good. Uh, Reuniclus probably had some use, I guess. Um, it can tank a bit. 
not it's really not that great i'd say uh but i do think okay ruin and close unironically i think people are overrating how good it is as a tank and underrating how it's damaged i'm not saying it's damage is crazy or whatever because it's not it's not anything crazy damage but it's solid it's some solid psych die damage right uh has some gauge uses as well i guess uh but moving on steven probably close top um i i don't like i personally don't like the steven evil tower argument right i do think steven's a world better it's so much more consistent right uh has guaranteed crit on the sink nuke which is nice again the flinches are good uh recuperation on sync is nice defenses are good even though hp is not that great right special defense also not that great either i do think steven's a slightly overrated tank and then uh you do some damage on iron head but iron head dps is not very good right terrible dps honestly for its stature <laughs> uh but moving on the other steven is still real, really nice um if people are wondering well does gets us being in the game help or hurt ice steven um, in my opinion, the answer is uh, it doesn't. Who cares? They have nothing. To, they have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> I don't think Getsus and 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 Ice Steven have anything to do with each other, honestly. Right? Getsus more influences Dugong and maybe even Glalie, which doesn't even influence Glalie that much. More than he influences Ice Steven. Ice Steven has nothing to do with Getsus, right? Ice Steven, you're running Hail. Um, comps well gets us your you're running either debuff comps or you're running uh freeze comps right which i guess you could run freeze comps with steven but i'm not a huge fan right uh but yeah be, but you're mainly running hill comps which you don't really want to run with kiram right so steven is yeah i see still good uh moving on salzal is fine mediocre dps solid sync nuke very fast right good for gauges uh has a solid toxic flinch even though it seems kind of contradictory <laughs> like not sure if you want to flinch someone who's poisoned because they have to attack for them to take damage from the poison but regardless it's still nice um but everything else is not that great right tokus uh probably still amazing right um you got flinch you got statuses all really nice great sync nuker right solid dps uh muse still here great sync nuker right great tank um solid dps uh, on psychic especially I'm personally not a huge fan of fire blast thunder or blizzard mew because like they're not bad but like there's just so many better units that you could use either fire blast thunder or blizzard for like uh obviously again if you don't have them you could use mew it's just, which is like a gliding situation right um you know if you if you need them you don't have them you could use mew uh but objectively speaking they're not like that great right moving on seismato not very good um again another case of i mean i cleared 1.5k maximum with seismato does it mean it's right no it doesn't mean it's great <laughs> again a, i i see a lot, I, this drives me crazy a lot of people just give up the oh you're underrating this unit it could clear 1.5k mass I, I don't care any unit could clear 1.5k master mode <laughs> right i mean what are we gonna do put them all in top tier so yeah so that's what it is what it is um flitzel same deal still over here all right i mean I could do some okay-ish damage but i mean first of all your water type so that's a setback in of itself which is ironic because water types are good because you get boost from rain but in this case it's just um there's really no place for it right uh but all right here's here's the interesting part right these three are the ones that uh have changes slash are new and by are new i mean gets us right um that that we made in this one uh, so first of all, uh, gets us probably put in second tier, right? Uh, gets us is great. Um, does solid damage on the sink. Does really good damage on 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 your um, uh, glaciate DPS, right? Uh, on top of also doing some other good stuff, debuffing speed. You get debuff attacks here and there. Although you know, the tech part of uh, oh we there was like a bit of an argument in terms of. Where are we putting Getsus? Are we putting Getsus in hybrid or are we putting Getsus in striker? Because 
uh, or damage dealer because um Getz is mostly a damage dealer. Like his tech stuff is nice. It's there. It's not a huge deal, although it does affect champion iris a bit, which we'll talk about in a, in a second. Um, yeah, but it, like his his tech stuff isn't like great, but uh, you know it's still something. So we thought we'd put it in hybrid, right? And 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 again, it's very 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 good, right? It's another great free to play um uh unit in the game, right? So uh, that's that's really nice. Hello, bit of a debate between. If we were gonna put Ho in top tier, or if we put him in close top, I think we settled in close to top. Uh, but Ho's definitely very, 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 very good, right? Um, Ho's an easy like what, six hundred k or something, right? Damage healer. Uh, let me just fact check myself first. Uh, yeah, yeah, Ho's an easy six hundred k per, you know, per hit damage healer. Um, on top of getting Sun on Sing, on top of now having a Sync Nuke on your Sync, right? Uh, on top of dual, you know, type coverages with both, both of them are very, very good, right? Uh, fantastic fire type damage, and still like almost, almost like I think 500k grass type damage on Solar Beam, which is only a two gauge move as well, right? Um, but yeah, Ho is definitely very, 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 very good. And whoever thinks Ho isn't good, you, uh, you don't. You don't know what game you're playing, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> All right, last one gets. Oh, uh, gets us. Oh, Iris. Um, so Iris was, and always was, you know, third tier, right? I mean, uh, the thing with Iris, and 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 people, you know, do get upset about this, is that, um, because like Iris looks flashy. So when you're looking at it, oh my god, it looks so cool. Look at the big damage numbers on the sync nuke, right? But overall, it does have like a lot of issues as a unit, right? Um, the setup is absolutely atrocious. Um, it's DPS is only good on paper, right? Most time you don't even get to ever DPS with Iris before the either stage is over or whatever, right? Uh, but Iris does have, again, also some really, really great things. First of all, move gauge celebration is fantastic, right? To have, and again, the Sinking Nook is powerful. I'm not going to say it's good, but it's powerful, right? Um, the big issue with Iris is like sort of team comps wise. It's hard to really get her going. Uh, I guess like you could run like all creamy with Iris, or you could run like Sinkscoot Leaf with Iris, but it's, again, none of them are like really, really optimal. And the reason why we are moving Iris up a bit is Getsus does help Iris. Iris, um, I think a lot of people are getting like a misconception of, oh, you know, Getsus is going to be so good because Iris is going to help Getsus do whatever, right? No, Getsus doesn't need Iris. In fact, Getsus, you probably don't even want to run Iris. However, Iris does need Getsus, right? Uh, Getsus does make Iris much uh, quicker to set up, right? Um, and 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 it does, you know, again, does does help out Iris uh, quite a bit. Even though, again, you could still run all creamy, but I do think, um, I do think Getsus at least uh, gives uh, Iris a lot of team comp flexibility, a lot of extra team comp flexibility, which does help uh, because, like, a lot of times. Um, the big thing about like what separates like Togekiss or Mew or Octillery or Serena or, or Iris from something like a from something like a Marnie or a Whimsicott is the ability to like really well maybe not Mew, right? But like the ability to really um quickly get up your max sync nuke in three turns right on your first sync um and again now that gets uh kiram's in the game that definitely does help um ours quite a bit right so um it helps it helps <laughs> um even though is it is it on the optimal team for ours i'd say probably not but it's but it definitely does increase the different kind of team comps that you could run um significantly which uh, I do think at least helps, All right? So, anyways, that's me. This one, I guess. Hope you guys, enjoy. Let me guys, think of the comments down below. Like, if it is for our channel, for some more Pomas content. Uh, again, shout outs to the people who did this tier list, right? Um, and uh, yeah, have fun um arguing in the comment section, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next one.